The John Morris Show, episode 98. In this episode, the case against WordPress. The John Morris Show. Your life on code. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Morris. All right, so let's get more into this great debate, shall we? And look, thing is, this is important. Because there are too many new developers who fall hook, line, and sinker for the roll-your-own mantra of the know-it-alls. And I know you know who I'm talking about. Those devs who tend to slightly overestimate their skills while yapping at the rest of us about how we're an idiots and we should read the manual. And I know it can stop you from realizing your dream of coding for a li living, and that's not going to happen on my watch. So here's what I got in response to the last episode of the show. While people may not be able to rewrite WordPress, websites written from scratch are generally better than a WordPress site because they trim the fat. The whole tool thing is BS. You may be able to get a WordPress site out and maybe a day earlier than someone going from scratch. Maybe. But a good web developer slash pure coder will always outperform a tool. Now, first off, I give Tom who posted this credit because while I wholeheartedly disagree with him, he was respectful. So no hard feelings, Tom, but I can't let this fly. And this is what the roll your own crowd always kind of tends to do. Because this is an apples to orange co oranges comparison. He's comparing building a static website from scratch versus using WordPress. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's not the same thing. And your point about the fat, that's probably true, but you have to know that's not what I actually said. And to do this right, you have to compare apples to apples, which is exactly what I pointed out to him when I responded to him by saying, if you're talking about a static website, okay. But I think it's obvious I'm talking about something with the same basic functionality. And your CMS built in a few days or weeks, I'm sorry, but that will not outperform something like WordPress. And I may be crazy. You can call me crazy if you want. But I don't think that that's really even a question. I don't think that's really up for debate. Does anybody really question that? So to that, he replied, I never mentioned a CMS, and I'm clearly not disagreeing with you on that point. I'm saying that it's the wrong argument to make. My point is my website written from scratch will outperform the equivalent built on a tool. And at the end of the day, that is what matters to the client. So point number one, he conceded that he couldn't build a CMS from scratch that would rival WordPress. Let's point that out because that's actually all I ever said in my original video. And he just conceded that he agreed with me. So game over, right? But let's address the static site thing because I still happen to disagree with him on that point. So I replied to him with, okay, let's say that we're talking about a static site. I can use something like Bootstrap or Skeleton or any of the other frameworks out there and include only the components I want so there's no fat and be able to get exactly what I want in terms of a website. And I'll do it faster than you writing all of that code from scratch. And the actual code in Bootstrap, which is the most important thing, it's been used on millions of sites, poured over by thousands of developers, and it's supported by a community that includes numerous large tech companies. So forgive me, but I'm not convinced that whatever you code from scratch can compete with that. And I don't think that I'm crazy for thinking that. So to that, he then replied, ah, the bootstrap argument. So what about custom design, branding, i.e., being a being original there's a reason why companies behind the best sites in the world hire coders and also while why they are not wordpress driven however in saying all of this 
I understand that your average Joe with a small business will probably be fine with a WordPress site or a bootstrap theme. And in that regard, I agree with you. So first off, again, conceding that in the majority of the cases, I'm probably right about the majority of websites and clients that you'll work with. But still, let's tackle that best companies in the world hire coders argument just to finish this off and have a little fun here. So here's a short list of big companies using WordPress. TechCrunch, BBC, Star Wars, Sony Music, MTV, the PlayStation blog, Best Buy, Xerox, Time, the New York Times, and a whole lot more. And Bootstrap, along with being used by sites like HomeDepot.com, CapitalOne.com, AmericanExpress.com, Target, Intuit, and more, is used by 12% of all websites. So yeah, big companies do hire coders to build websites with WordPress and Bootstrap. And of course, all some of the other tools that are available out there as well. But the thing is, all this gets back to my original point that I was trying to make before all of this drama happened, which is tool builders versus tool users. If you really wanna code things from scratch, that's 100% okay. I'm actually with you. I have some of that in me as well. That's part of my background. But you are almost always doing your client who just wants a website a disservice by rolling your own. It's rare that you won't be. What you should do is start building tools like WordPress, like Bootstrap, like Skeleton, like any of the num other number of things that are out there. That's where the roll your own trend is going. Not in building websites for Bob's auto body. And I don't think anybody looking at it can say any different, whether you like it or not. Now, if you're not stuck on writing all the code yourself, then know that you can probably get your web development career going much, much faster. And this was, again, my other point, by picking, then mastering one of the many tools that's already out there. And for you, it's kind of nice because there's a lot of them out there. You do not need to build everything from scratch. I think one YouTube commenter probably put it best. I've been building sites since 1997, coding in Notepad and other better tools as time went on. I have to say that I agree that even then clients didn't care about how it got done, just that it's done the way they want it done. Capiche? All right, so as always, be sure to keep my kiddos fed and me cranking out these pearls of wisdom for you by becoming a supporting listener of the show over on Patreon. You get a slew of really cool perks and you can learn more at johnmorrisonline.com slash Patreon. If you like this episode, be sure to like it. I'd sure appreciate that. If you know somebody you'd benefit from this, please share it with them. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.